homework time. Uh, we've done lots of things in the plank position, so let's give the wrists and shoulders a little break. And you are going to need da -da, a skipping rope. Yes, I would like you to skip. Um, get a skipping rope. Don't just do high knees. Yes, high knees is a workout, but this is more challenging. Um, anybody can do high knees, but can you skip? Um, to start off, you don't have to skip with the alternating knees up. Just skip with two feet. See how long you can skip for. Um, I would say skip until you can't. Rest, and when you're able to, do it again. Um, I didn't think I could skip, but with practice, you learn. So, um, I wouldn't suggest doing it on carpet. You'll get whacked in the back with your skipping rope. Um, so, you can just start with two feet. It's a lot easier if you start with the two feet, and then eventually you can get to alternating knees up. And somebody was playing with my skipping rope because it doesn't feel right. Somebody was playing with it. So, eventually, you can get to alternating knees up. So, start with however long you can do, whether you're just doing two feet. Um, it's taken me a while to get to the alternating knees up. It cannot cross. I haven't even tried. I figure high knees is good enough. Why do I, what does that do? Anyways, except get you whacked in the back. So start with whatever you can do. You can even do it in a Tabata. 20 seconds on, 10 seconds rest. You can do it for 20 seconds, right? So you can do it that way or start with whatever you can do. All right, so that's your next one, skipping. Get to it, get started. It won't take you long to learn how to do it. You may get whacked in the back a few times, but that's okay. Try not to do it on carpet, like I said. I learned the hard way. <laughs>